In this workbook, we're letting people enter values for these categories in a budget. We've set a budget limit, though, and we want to make sure they don't enter amounts that will take them over that limit. So we're going to use data validation to control what can be entered here and check that this total does not exceed the limit. We'll also show them how much is available and what adjustment they could make to each of these categories and stay within the budget. First thing we'll do is enter the data validation. So I'm selecting all the cells where they'll be entering numbers and on the ribbon, go over to the data tab and click data validation. Here on the settings tab, we don't want them to enter any value we would like a custom formula that controls what they can put in the cell. The formula we're going to use will check the limit against the total so far. Starting with an equal sign, we'll check this total, which is in C11, and I want that to be an absolute reference, so press the F4 key and that will lock that reference. That cell should be less than or equal to the cell with the budget limit, so I'm going to click on it and press the F4 again to make that an absolute reference to cell D2. We can also put in an error alert to help them if something goes wrong. So if they type a number that takes them over that budget, they'll see an error message and we can control what that message says. So I can type a title that says over limit and then I'll put in an error message here that gives them a little more information. Over limit, enter a lower number, then click OK. So the next thing we're going to do is create a total formula here. Selecting the cell where the total should appear, I'll go back to the Home tab on the ribbon and click the Auto Sum button. I don't have anything entered above this cell, so it's not sure what to sum. I'll select cells C6 to C10 and press Enter. So now we'll get a total. Then enter a number in here, and if I put in something that's over the limit, I get the custom message that we created and I can retry or cancel. The next thing we'll do is show how much is left of the budget as they enter values in here. So this is equal to the limit minus the total so far. And we don't have to make these absolute because we're not going to copy this formula down. It's just in the one cell. I'll press enter. So we still have 5,000. If I put 4,000 for rent, we show the 4,000 here, we have 1,000 available. And if I try to put in something too high for postage, I'll get the warning. And the final thing we'll do is show what's the limit now that they could put into this category based on what's been spent in the other categories and our limit. What we're going to enter here is the available amount plus whatever they might have entered in this cell so far because we could put that back into the available amount if they're going to change this. So in this case it's plus C6 and I'll leave that unlocked but this one will be locked. The available amount plus whatever they have budgeted press enter. They could enter an amount up to a thousand in here based on the other categories we drag it down, this shows that rent could go up to 5,000 because we're not counting this amount. We're assuming they're going to take that out and they could put up to $5,000 in here. So if we change the rent to 2,000, we could put 3,000 in any other category and this one could be adjusted up to 5,000. So I'll just enter more numbers here and I can see what I have left for travel right now is 750. They can adjust them later if they find out rent's only going to be 1,500. They can still see there's 500 left and what adjustments they could make to any other category. Well, now we could spend a little more on travel. We don't have to do the arithmetic in our head to figure out how high that could go. We can see that that's our new limit. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my website at www.contextures.com.